So we're back yet again on Leighton Lakes for another Whitetail Hunt, and I imagine the reason why is quite clear already, but yesterday, EW dropped a little kind of teaser trailer for the new map, and one of the first things we see is that it looks like some kind of North American desert terrain, and that was something that was suggested and talked about quite a lot, but then of course we see the Whitetail and the kind of coming soon screen there at the end with the Great One, and on Monday's livestream, we actually went around and took down all of our tripods from the old Great One grind, basically to have them and be able to move them for a new one, but given the fact that it's now confirmed we're going to have Whitetail on a new map, I may save setting up tripods for that new map and just have them there to grind it there. It really depends on what we actually get, but the Whitetail being there is a definite. Now at this point that is about all the information we have. But like I said, the whitetail being there is a definite, and I just thought since we're probably going to at least wait and see what's going to be there before we do much more with grinding here on Leighton, we should at least run through and make sure we don't have anything really special waiting out here for us. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to at least drop those two. There's one other buck that I wasn't sure if he'd actually be in range to hear that. But we can take him. We'll go over and claim those three, and there was one other thing that I wanted to mention regarding the new map, because I don't want to speculate too much until we get more information. At this point, given the fact that there is a teaser trailer, I'm sure more information is not too far away, but there's a lot of talk as to whether it's Mexico or something in like the southern or southwest US, basically in that general area, and the one thing that I want to say is if we open the map, there's not a lot of room for a new map icon anywhere but specifically in Mexico, and really they could put the map anywhere in that general area and kind of just combine them all. But if I had to guess, given the current layout of the map selection screen, at least the icon is going to appear as if it's more in Mexico. But really, regardless of the specific location of the map, we can definitely expect to see some pretty new terrain, and definitely I would expect to see some new species. That's an area that we don't have anything quite like in the game currently. So I think it's going to be interesting to see what they actually have. But obviously Whitetail is going to be one of them. And now that we've kind of gotten all that out of the way with the new map, that's what we're going to be focusing on here today on Layton. So interestingly, these deer are nervous. I don't know. They had to have heard that shot. But I wasn't aware they would be within range to actually do so. That's the best buck. If he stopped, and we're going to take that shot. That guy didn't hear it, fortunately. Let's wait and see what he's going to do, because he's kind of not walking at a very good angle. That'll be better. And I'm not sure. There's a couple of does. There's another buck there. And actually, both of those are bucks. So if we can, I'd like to get them both. It's just going to be really difficult. The whole nervous thing with these ones is what's making it tough. I guess what we'll do was at least going to be to try to hit him in the back of the neck we didn't and because of the render bug we just had to hit him again to make sure he goes down and i guess that guy is probably going to get away we're not going to try to make any kind of crazy shots while that render bug is in existence but that's three more here but that is already two pretty good sized gold white tail bucks at our first two zones they might have both been 229 i already forget the first but both definitely in the 220s area this is the second one and then the third, I know he had to go down in render, but we'll probably send Rocky on that trail. And actually, I was going to ignore this one, but he actually made gold as well, so not too bad. So between those two zones, six bucks down. And actually, we were kind of close, so we aimed higher, because I didn't realize the range was 250. That probably would have been right in the next, but, but like I said, we'll take the three out of that zone. And this is a zone down here in Renaki in the southwest that... We've been working with for quite some time. At one point we had a ton of whitetail bucks here, but then they stopped spawning and we really only got those. This is the last doe, and I'm hoping with it taken out, going forward we can actually get bucks here again. There were something like 20 deer in that particular area, and it took a long time to actually get them all cleared out, so I am quite excited to see what respawns there, but it sort of depends. With a new map on the horizon, it may be some time before we actually end up checking it. I mean, we potentially have a good bit of time yet, but it does kind of depend when exactly that map's meant to come out, but at least we have the opportunity to come back here and look now that they're all taken out. And actually, another really good sized buck, 211 to 252 on that estimate, that is a decent example of what we're just trying to work towards in that last zone. This particular spot had no bucks. 
And we actually never even killed all the does. There were a couple that we left around. And at this point, I'm not shooting them if bucks are going to continue to spawn. But by taking out a bunch of does, we got bucks to come back. And that is by far the best one that's done so to this point. It really is making me think we need to come back here once before the map drops, though. That's a 214, so not actually as big as the others. But just the fact that we've seen already like a pretty good number of max weight estimate bucks, I think we definitely should. And once again, actually, we got bucks to spawn in a place that they haven't been. And this is one that just on the stream on Monday, we had no bucks here in four does. We shot two of the does, and we actually have two more bucks and two more does back in the spot, so that's encouraging. We're going to kind of do the same thing. Just take out the bucks, we'll let the does go, and as long as bucks are spawning, that is going to be the way we approach that. I want to say both silvers, but definitely just the fact that there's antlers here again is a really good sign. So hopefully that continues. And also a kind of new development, this lake is just loaded with whitetail. So this is the tiny lake kind of up in the southern ridge area just off Balmont Lake. Across here, we have probably more bucks that we're going to be able to take out. Maybe the ones on this side will stay, but there's three all clustered right there. And there's tracks on this side as if there's another herd that we'll see once we kind of get away from this tent and let them spawn in. I don't even know the best way to go about this. Maybe if we can drop that level one in the front, we could then hit the bigger one behind him. Okay. Ooh, that, that last shot was not good. And actually, we never even... I don't know how. We never even hit the other one. And that guy went down kind of quick. I'm not too sure what happened, but we're going to, once again, err on the side of caution and not end up dealing with the render glitch and just kind of let those ones go and get them next time. I really don't know where that second shot actually hit. But we can now see the whitetail on the other side actually spawned in. Looks like three bucks again in a kind of interesting rack on that one. He's super wide. So let's make sure we get him and hopefully that other broadside one. And then we'll kind of see about, I guess, both the ones in the back of broadside. But we'll kind of see about a third one. Hopefully, that was nowhere near ideal. Rico kind of got me good on that one, so unfortunately, I think we just got the one. Looks like at the very least, we made that lung shot, because I was worried since he went to drink then, but yeah, that didn't quite go to plan. But it's actually 1430 now, so we got to be kind of quick with claiming these so we can get to a couple other spots. That was our little spike that I think we shot first. I really want to know if we hit this one twice. That's the only thing that makes sense to me, because I don't think we missed our second shot. There's only one hit. I definitely don't think we tried to shoot at this one, so he must have kind of ducked into the way. But then, there's not more blood here. I don't have a clue where that one got to, but at least, as far as I can tell, we didn't hit anything. But then, real quick, we'll go ahead and claim this guy. I do want to see what he actually looks like up close. Just kind of an interesting frame, still just a silver, but got the lungs and all. And yeah, we'll see if we can make it to maybe one or two more spots yet here. So naturally, we spooked them before we got to actually see what's here, but it looks like they're just starting to go nervous, so we'll try to get what we can. There's at least two or three bucks in here. I'm gonna make sure. He's not gonna step behind that dough. There the other one was. If we'd waited a little longer, he probably would have stepped out and we could have done a bit better. Although I don't know what they're doing. That at least hit him. I wanted to catch him when he started running again, but we were a little bit too early. And I just don't know if that was the only other bug. I know we didn't hit him that well, but he was going down pretty quick, so it had to be intestines. And we're quite confident Rocky can find him for us. We're absolutely pushing it here, because it is pretty much 1500. Kind of an interesting looking bug again. Guess we'll praise Rocky quick before we take off here. So we had to wait for them to return because I guess we actually spooked them out of their feed zone. But we do have an 85 to 100 whitetail in there, along with some other bucks. And probably, I think there are three, unless there is only the two. I was gonna say we're probably only gonna get the two, but if it's just those ones anyway, I think that's kind of a guarantee. Let's take that shot. And then we're sort of forced to go for intestines there. I think we got liver. And there was another buck in there. Wait, that's a blacktail. All right, well, anyway, that was one thing that I was going to mention and I kind of forgot. It's going to be nice whenever this new map eventually drops 
to hot whitetail with different scenery and with different animals because, I mean, for over four years now, it's been this thing where if you want a hot whitetail, you're going to be on Leighton Lakes and you're going to be looking at moose and blacktail and, you know, jackrabbits and whatever else is around. So, regardless of whatever else is on that map, I'm excited even just for whitetail hunts, which is a species we already have, of course, just to be able to hunt them and have other options for things that you may run into along the way. I think that's going to be just a really nice change of pace, and I know a lot of people are still doing the Great One grind, so I'm sure I'm not the only one that's kind of thinking that. And that actually wasn't even a gold, so definitely going to end with two silvers. I guess we somehow even got vital there, so maybe it was liver. But anyway, we managed to fairly thoroughly cover our map and a lot of the better spots at least for whitetail zones, and we got those couple of does taken out to hopefully get whitetail bucks to spawn in the future, and again, I'm looking forward to getting to hunt whitetail on a different map, but as I said earlier, I think we gotta make at least one trip back here and make sure that nothing good spawns off of all the stuff that we shot today, because we've had a number of good bucks, but I think that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.